I've never given two weeks notice. I just said, fuck it, I'm leaving. Like, I didn't care. Uh, well, thanks for telling me now. <laughs> I, I, I've never given two weeks notice in my life. Great, so that's going to be a good one. I've never believed in it. Hey, Jonathan, what happened to those videos? Actually, you know what, man? I'm just really kind of tired of this. I'm not really yeah. going to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you ass. So Can you at least give me a heads up? I'll give you a heads up. All right, thank you. There's so many times. <laughs> like... You gotta shake shit up. You gotta work a little fucking harder. Okay. What was I saying? A lot of four letter words. Oh, you know what, dude? I see this happen all the time. One of the biggest mistakes I've seen managers do when creating sales teams is that they hire because they like the person. That's why they hire the person. They hire them because they like them, not because they can actually get the job done. And, you know, I hate to see it, say it. I'm not trying to be a prick, but bottom line is, is that you don't have to like somebody to work with them. In fact, the majority of the people I've hired and majority of the people I work with, I don't personally like. <laughs> like, I wouldn't go have a beer with them. I wouldn't go hang out at a baseball together to get the baseball game together or something like that. Like, but that's okay. Because I don't need to like someone to work with someone. Now, I've actually posted this a couple times in the past. I remember people have actually like seriously disagreed with me and I just actually don't even care if they disagree with me or not because it's, it, it's not, I don't need to be friends with someone to work with someone. I, I, when I put a team together, I put a team together because they get shit done, not because I personally enjoy their company, right? Like I just don't think it's required for me to have to personally enjoy their company. So it's, it's one of the biggest mistakes I've seen uh, with marriages with their high in, hiring staff. Drives me bloody bonkers. Our management training today. We're trying to come up with strategies, um, operational strategies, marketing strategies, and think of it more like today being our kind of our discovery chat. It has more to do with how the pieces fit on the board. You know, what players are responsible for what, trying to figure out how everyone moves and how the flow goes, then only then can I actually start giving some good advice about how to adjust their operations or marketing efforts or their training or coaching efforts to get better results. That is what I'm doing right now. I'll help train, develop, and coach on the process. All right, I'm a firm believer that the process manages the person, the manager doesn't manage the person. So it's like we have to have those processes well documented. And um, I think everyone, in, I mean, I've never met anybody that doesn't have a process. Um, I very seldom meet a lot of people that never wrote down the, written down those processes. The process is only as good as how well we can measure it, right? Because you look, you'll decide a, a process on how you want someone to take a test drive, you'll decide a process on how you want someone to meet and greet a customer, but if there's no way to actually measure the effectiveness of it, then we never know if it's actually the right one or wrong one, we're just flying by the gut or seam of our pants, right? Selling an appointment and selling a car, entirely different conversations, different uh, different mindsets, uh, different language, <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, but we seem to kind of skip this one and just go, here's the brochures, here's the keys, now go sell some cars, right? So first module usually has to do with, you know, um, how we sell the appointment. And then also who's responsible for selling the appointment. Maybe everybody, maybe only a couple of people. Don't even know yet. I'll figure that one out as we go along, right? Um, then the second one, actually selling the car itself, you know? Uh, but that's just getting them to the point where we, then we have the opportunity to sell them the financing. So a lot of times we seem to take the car and the financing and shove it into one singular process. When in reality, it's entirely different processes. Let's say there's an objective. It may or may not be, you may not have enough of those type of situations for it to create an objective or a goal. But let's say the goal and objective is to eliminate situations like that. But if we never set the goal and objective, then it's never actually gonna happen. We won't process our way to a way that'll never exist, right? Here. Why is it so empty? I know we have there somewhere. Okay. Did you know that there's a pandemic going on? <laughs> Why is it so empty? That's a stupid question. Is it a pandemic? It is a pandemic. We should talk about a pandemic or a pandemic. Let's talk about COVID it's conspiracies. Co no, we're definitely not talking Why? about COVID conspiracies. You know what it is? I don't like how quiet they are. That's what I don't like about an office. Like, I like loud offices. So it's not that I don't like offices, I just don't like quiet spaces. I, I need, like, noise and something going on in the background, and it's just like, 
So I, I, would, I would go absolutely nuts. Like, I mean, there are times where I'm okay just shutting myself into a room and just plowing through a bunch of work, but like, like I gotta have like something going on around me all the time. The customer right now is looking for a solid experience than they are. Look, they're gonna, they know they're gonna get a fucking discount no wherever they go. It doesn't really matter, yeah. right? Like, they're not, they're not driving. Well, here's Gicker too, right? They're not driving, you know, passing by six or seven dealerships to go to that dealership anymore because it's not easy to do. It's a different world right now. Yeah. Everything's changed a lot. We just have to change along with it. Mm -hmm. Not a good GIF. I think that's a good GIF. Is it GIF or GIF? It's. Well, it ain't a GIF. It's, it's a, a GIF. GIF. It's a GIF. It's not a GIF. It's a GIF. It's literally a GIF. It is not a GIF. See, there you go. There's, that, that's all I got to say to you right now. It's just that. Um, let me see what you have on Yeah.